Before creating tables in MySQL, you need to create a MySQL database compatible with the UTF-8 data stored in your original FileMaker database. The information in this video applies to MySQL, MariaDB, Percona Server, Amazon Aurora, Google Cloud SQL, and any other MySQL compatible database. To keep it simple, I will simply refer to the MySQL database, but you know that I mean any MySQL compatible database server. To complete this task, you should already have a local copy of the MySQL database server installed. When performing data transfers, it is recommended that you perform this task with a local copy of MySQL, not a remote database server hosted on the Internet. Once the data has been transferred into MySQL, then you can easily export it from the local database and import it on the remote server. Overall, this is a more reliable, faster, and easier to troubleshoot approach. I choose to install MySQL directly on Mac OS X. But another great option is to install MAMP as a full web development environment, including MySQL. MAMP is an application containing the Apache web server, MySQL, PHP, Python, and Perl neatly packaged together and ready to run. One small disadvantage to using MAMP for storing your MySQL data is that before you upgrade your version of MAMP, you will need to perform a MySQL dump of your MySQL data so that you can import it into the new version. But MAMP is still probably the fastest way to get a web application development environment up and running on Mac OS X, and I highly recommend it. In this video, I'll be using Navicat to manage MySQL but there are a wide variety of other tools available. You can even use phpMyAdmin included with MAMP. I have opened Navicat and opened a connection to my locally installed MySQL database. I can select New Database from the Connection menu or I can right-click the database connection to create a new database from the menu. In the New Database dialog, enter a name for the new database. I would avoid using a database name containing special characters or spaces. Then, select UTF-8 as the default character set. FileMaker uses UTF-8 for character encoding, therefore it is important to select UTF-8 within the new MySQL database for compatibility. Otherwise, Unicode characters won't be properly transferred into MySQL. For the default collation menu, select any one of the options having the CI suffix. The CI suffix means that case insensitive searching will be supported by the database. Since FileMaker supports case insensitive searching, we also want the MySQL database to have this feature. I am selecting UTF-8 General CI from this menu. You could optionally select UTF-8 Unicode CI with a slight, probably unnoticeable, performance penalty. Or you could select one of the language-specific CI options if this would be more appropriate for the users of your application. Just avoid selecting the default UTF-8 bin option or you will be limited to case-sensitive searching. You can, however, change these options at any time on a column-by-column -column basis, but it is easier to set it correctly when initially creating the database. After I click the OK button, my new database is created in about one second. I can now open it at the left side. Of course, there aren't any tables, since I haven't created them yet. That will be the next task I perform using FM Pro Migrator.